We like old adverts. Hello and welcome to another episode of We Like Old Adverts, the uh, amazing channel where you watch weird adverts and we'll talk about it. Uh, today we're talking about St. Patrick's Day, everyone's favourite holiday about an Irish saint called Patrick. So me and Joe are Irish and we live in England and Jim has a green shirt, so you know <laughs> we're ticking all the boxes. And we're going to give you an English person's guide to St. Patrick's Day using our favourite medium, adverts. If you want to see regular videos on some of the funniest and weirdest adverts you can find on the internet, then hit the subscribe button because we've got them all. Once you've subscribed, please get in touch on the uh, comments below and we'll say hello and make great acquaintances with you. So uh, what do you guys know about Ireland? Not much until now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, you need a step-by-step -step guide. Step one, get to Dublin. He is a fairy advert. Ireland's a welcome. Ireland's a smile. Ireland's the good things that make life worthwhile. Ireland's a sunrise beyond the next mile. Ireland's a feeling that won't pass you by. And Ireland is closer by the end by the end <laughs> this is why I do this show. Oh, I love it. <laughs> what a class. Love, that music. I absolutely love it. It makes Ireland sound like Toys R Us, which is yeah. obviously amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, I've got a list of things I want to do when the pandemic restrictions are, lift, are listed. And on that list, one of the entries is simply Ireland. And this <laughs> yeah. reinforces that so much. I've been to Dublin many, many times and I love it, but never by ferry. And it oh, would be- you haven't lived, Jim, yeah. you haven't lived. Jim. Ferry's the best bit. We could joke about this the live long day and we're gonna, but honestly, I used to love getting the ferry to Ireland because sailing on like a misty sea, the excitement of new horizons and like adventures, the deck, rocks unpredictably yeah. underneath you there's no better way to play mortal kombat 2 on the arcade than all that's happening <laughs> oh, around you. i love it absolutely love it i'm a bit scared of the captain though anyone get a like murderer vibe the Good dashing captain. captain the mermaid the salty sea dog and then the scouser <laughs> <laughs> Any good captain should have you living in fear of them though jim that's the way it works you know you've got your roy keens yeah captain bird's eye all of them should have a bit of a fear factor about them. I suppose even in the modern era, you have to be, you have to present the idea that you could fight off a mutiny. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love how when the bloke or oh, woman who made this advert has been asked, make an advert for us. They've gone, okay, I'll take my camera with me. Your video <laughs> camera. No, my camera. I'll use my camera. It'll be fine. I'll, I'll take loads of almost motion of a bloke drinking a pint yeah. of Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> At one frame a second. Yeah. <laughs> Can we go? Can we go? I mean, where would you Definitely. get the ferry from? Liverpool? Oh, oh, yeah, you can get it at Liverpool. And, uh, and yeah. You could get Liverpool as well, but it's a bit longer. Yeah, let, yeah. let's go out of our way to get a ferry to Ireland at some from point. From Liverpool, because then we can be ferry across the Mersey. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I don't know a huge Sorry, amount. Sorry, we could recreate the Nat West advert that we did before. Of course we do. It's not all work, work, work. And then recreate the B&I <laughs> advert we've just seen. Because <laughs> that's the type of people we are. Um, <laughs> so I don't know a huge amount about St. Patrick, but I do know that he was... Um, he fled Ireland, didn't he? Because he'd been he'd been kidnapped by Irish raiders, basically. And while he was there, he found God. And then uh, he claimed that God told him to flee to the coast where a ship would be waiting to take him home. And now I like to think that that was a ferry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with Mortal Kombat 2 on it. Definitely. Yeah. The song is beyond good. This should be released as a single. And I've got an idea, lads. Let's do a Wellerman style sea shanty <laughs> with the B&I Island song. <laughs> I love it. But I mean... We've got the line in it. Ireland's a sunrise beyond the next mile, which makes no sense at all, especially <laughs> considering that if you've come from England, like they say, the sunrise is behind. It's, it's in England, the sunrise. Oh, <laughs> That's whoa. how the earth spins. Come on. 
Come on, <laughs> don't let facts get in the way of a good fairy jingle. I like Island is Closer by B and I. Yeah, but it's even closer by plane. Don't yeah. show off like that. It's even closer by telly. Oh look, the Blarney Stone. It's on the telly. <laughs> yeah. Even closer. It's, I mean, it's there. <laughs> just same distance as any other ferry company, isn't it? <laughs> they got a s- slightly longer jetty that they take off from. <laughs> no, do ferry take off from a jetty? Yeah. I don't know. Really I'm not, you know, I'm a ball. landlubber. So when you get to Dublin, what's the first thing you'd like to do with all your mates? You'd like to have a little drink, wouldn't you? So you go to the bar and you get yourself a lovely pint of Harp Lager. What I miss about home is the rain and the greenness and the pint of Harp. And the evening before us and friends coming in and the pint of Harp. And Sally O'Brien and the way she might look at you. And joining the chorus. And the pint of her. Oh, the money is good and the suntan is free. You could fry an egg on the stones here, if you had an egg. And you could certainly sink a pint of harp. If you had a pint of harp. <laughs> oh, God. Now, egg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. That's an egg. What's, if, what's an egg? Cost like twenty pence. Where in the world's too hot for chickens? Yeah. They have them in yeah. Mexico. He, I mean, he looks like he's. I'm going to say Egypt. Do you know what I mean? It looks like he's properly, properly in the desert. But ah, oh, that is. It's like a mirage, isn't it? Something else. Oh. I feel like I've hallucinated it. Yeah. So good. It's worth saying as well. I have been to Ireland, and the harp is genuinely better there. <laughs> It's, I think it might, must be closer to the brewery. I don't know what it is. Yeah, but they, yeah. they, they keep back the best harp. They do, I <laughs> promise you. It's a meal in a glass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we didn't do Guinness. Yeah. Oh, it, would be, it would be a meal in a glass if you had an egg. Um, <laughs> you know, when I'm hallucinating my eggs. mirages, I'm like, I'm thinking, oh, you know, I'd... I'd love to be in a, a pub in Ireland and all my friends had come in wearing the exact same shirt. What's that about? Why are they all in the same Man City kit? What's that? <laughs> why are they all 20 years older than me? <laughs> yeah. And why is each one's facial hair more ridiculous than the last? <laughs> I'd love that though. If that if that's how your mates work, just, just yeah. dependent on the order you saw them in any given day. <laughs> I think your man goes on about harp a little too much for my oh, comfort. It's like is. Sally O'Brien and the harp and the greenness and the harp and the Nando's and the harp. And the... <laughs> mate, we think you've got to talk to someone. Yeah, he fantasizes three separate pints of harp, <laughs> yeah. which I love. But l- can we talk about Sally O'Brien? He's just like, <laughs> I love Sally O'Brien. He's just lamenting it, isn't he? He's, oh, why didn't I just say something to her? Why didn't I just, yeah, why didn't Did I just you... buy her a pint of harp? Did you see egg? how she was looking at me though? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think she was checking me out. Maybe yeah. that's why he doesn't have an egg. Maybe Somebody he gave else. it to Sally O'Brien, and she, and he's like eggless now. Music oh. at the end of it goes from downstairs in the Titanic to Blade Runner. <laughs> it's like, yeah. is he an Irish replicant? Why did it go all <laughs> weird? Yeah, uh, I, the, I love the music at the start as well. There's a real like war drums feel to it. Oh, the Baron giving it like something. really kind of actually a bit intimidating. The line he says, what I miss is the rain, the greenness, the, the pint, and the evening before us. That made me giddy. I cannot wait for pubs to open again. I love Ireland. I love yeah. England. And I plan on getting hammered in both before Christmas. Absolutely. Absolutely. When you've finished having a, a bit of um, a drink with your friends and all that, what do you like to do next? I like to line my stomach with a good meal. So here's an advert from the big brand, Tato's Crisps. Tato, crisps that whisper. Whisper. Crisps that whisper, Tato. Tato. Crisps that whisper freshness. Freshness. Crisps that whisper crispness. Crispness. Look for the special pack. Tato are terrific. What are they doing? Still going, still holding. (laughs) Why are they doing There we go. And scene. Oh. <laughs> oh, whispering oh. crisps. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why? Coffee that barks. <laughs> Sausages that need. <laughs> and the things that whisper. 
Yeah. Why did they say Christmas at the end? <laughs> Christmas crisps. Christmas. I thought it was a St. Patrick's Day advert. Even as a historic relic, this is low rent. You know mm. what I mean? Like that little lass, she shakes a packet of crisps and they all fall out. Yeah. <laughs> Could they not do that again? <laughs> that, there's a definite one take vibe to the whole thing, isn't there? Maybe the director's yeah. a bit of a maverick. Like, no, I do everything yeah. in one take. It's real. Yeah. That was- or maybe you thought they sell themselves. You mean, Fantastic you, crisps. you two joke, but uh, that was actually directed by Jean-Luc Godard, so... Ah, is that right? Now, um, the Tato brand is huge in Ireland, isn't it? It's is one of those things like Barry's Tea uh, that, that people love and really makes people think of home. For, based, I base this on the Irish people I know, and I should clarify that I do not know every Irish person. Um, but, yeah, um, there is also a... There's a Tato-themed theme park, or a th- uh, there is a theme park, as it's known. Um, it's, like it's not called Tato themed theme park. Although based on that advert, maybe it would be. <laughs> Whispering rides. <laughs> well, we've got to go, do we not? If oh, we go, let's do it. Let's. Yeah. But it's not in like it's not in Dublin or Galway or Cork. It's it's a bit off the beaten track, I believe. But that makes it more alluring to me. Mm. Definitely, it's. I find it weird because like the English voice in it. Yeah, suggests that they're trying to crack the market of London in full sixties swing, which I can, you know England has never been cooler and will never be as cool again as it was like sixty four to seventy, and this is how Tato planned to get their hooks in. I just can't imagine sixties people watching telly at home giving like, oh, did those crisps just fall out of a bag? Mm. Yeah. We don't get them over here, do we, Tato? It's all like pom bears here. You can get them now. Yeah, it's all pom bears and kettle chips and vegetable crisps. <laughs> you, can, you can get them here, but this, you know, I, I couldn't tell you where. You see them, but yeah, okay. I, like you have to have some special knowledge to, of where to get them. I did see them in a very big supermarket. A very oh, big supermarket. Yeah. It was a very big one. A big chain or a mm-hmm. massive one? Uh, both. It was like, oh. it, was a, it was a Tesco's gym. I'm not bothered about saying that, but it was a <laughs> big version of it, like the, the mega like air, aircraft hangar size wow. one. Wow. Oh, we should have done a, an affiliate link. Oh, I'd love to sit in, a, sit in an Irish pub, preferably in Ireland, open yeah. bag of Tato, just yeah. salt and vinegar. I'll get some... I'll get some nuts as well, and we'll, we'll make a Croydon salad, which is what that's yeah. called. Oh. Well, we are, are all somewhat indebted to the good people at Tato because they invented the flavour cheese and onion. Is that right? Good right. knowledge. Someone's a quiz master. You know you said that they invented the, the cheese and onion combination. Yeah. Is that just in crisps, or is that in, like, did no one have a cheese and onion sandwich until Tato said, we've got cheese and onion crisps, and then they went... Maybe that'd be all right in a sandwich as well. Yeah. And it worked. And, and it's everywhere now, isn't it? You get yeah, cheese yeah. and onion shower gel. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go out there and say it. that that doesn't work. I was wanting to get smelling like that. Savory shower? What's wrong with you? <laughs> a savory shower sounds like a horrible sex move. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, let's finish now. So thanks very much, guys, for watching to the end. We really appreciate it. You're the best guys we've got on this channel, apart from like us three who do the surprising amount of work that it takes to fulfill this YouTube channel. Um, please like and subscribe. Send us any comments you've got. Email us at welikealladverts at gmail.com and we'll definitely get back to you. So thanks very much and happy St. Patrick's Day. See you in the next one.